On a cold and wet spring morning, Nana and I decided to take our little button on an adventure to Tam O'Shanter Farm on Bidston Hill, Wirral. Tam O'Shanter Cottage got its name from a previous occupier of the building who, in 1837, decorated the building with a large stone on which was inscripted the poem Tam O'Shanter by Robert Burns. As we arrived, Button's eyes sparkled with excitement. She couldn't wait to explore and meet all the animals waiting to greet her. Our first stop was to see the sheep and goats. The goat, who seemed to enjoy football, came trotting over to see if we had brought him anything to eat. Button laughed with delight as she watched the fluffy sheep nibbling on the grass. Next, we visited the pigs, who were very happy snorting and snuffling around for food and too busy to notice us watching them. A wander through the Remembrance Garden allowed Button to smell the spring flowers and Nana had to lift her up to stroke the wooden fox sitting on the bird feeder. We started to warm up as we walked through the many paths around the farm and soon we came across an interesting cow. Button was bewildered to see water flowing from its udders. There was lots more to see and explore including rabbits, guinea pigs and three alpacas with curious expressions. Next to them was an adventure playground with a slide which Button was eager to try. Many times. We heard the ducks long before we saw them and it was funny to hear Button imitating their quacking noise. One little duck seemed to have an injured leg and Button imitated its walk too. She was really having a fun time. Spring is the mating season and so in the duck pond much frolicking was observed and heard giving Button even more opportunity to practice her duck cries. Then it was off to see the ponies majestic creatures with flowing manes and gentle eyes. One pony was so happy to see Button it laid down and rolled over on its back as if to say come and tickle me. Button loves seeing all the ponies. I think it may be her favourite animal. After a morning full of fun and excitement, it was time to refuel with a picnic in the woods. Button volunteered to carry the picnic bag. As we sat together, surrounded by the beauty of nature, I couldn't help but feel grateful for these precious moments with our dear Button. And as the day drew to a close, I knew that this cold spring day at the farm would be a memory we would cherish forever. Until next time, farm friends, goodbye, goodbye. <laughs>